Hi, welcome to Contributor Tutorials. My name is Sean, and today I'm going to show you how to change the luminosity of skin using Photoshop. When retouching portraits, it's important to make the skin look good. I'm going to show you a technique that will brighten skin tones and help balance uneven shadows. We're going to change the skin's luminosity to help improve our portrait. Let's look at the example that we have in front of us. We do have a lovely portrait that was shot in natural daylight, so we are picking up a little bit of uneven shadows on her face. And her skin tone could be a little bit brighter as well. So I'm going to show you a technique that will help improve both of these. First, we need to go down to our adjustment layers and choose Channel Mixer. From the presets, we want to choose black and white with red filter. This is going to show us our image as if we were just viewing the red channel. We want to go back to our Channel Mixer layer and then choose our blending mode, scroll all the way to the bottom and select Luminosity. As you can see, just previewing it before and after, that we have changed the luminosity of the skin, and it definitely has made it a lot brighter, but it's a little too bright, and it looks kind of fake. So I'm going to show you a technique that can bring this back to making it look a little bit more natural. So double-clicking the Channel Mixer layer is going to bring up our layer style, and we want to look at the underlying layer, and what we want to do is we want to bring the slider to the left-hand side, which is going to help us recover some of our shadows. Once we've recovered our shadows, we're going to option click or alt click the arrows and that's going to split the slider into two. Now we're going to bring this back and recover some of our highlights and just balance it out. I think that looks good. Just previewing it before and after, you can see that we've definitely recovered some of the skin texture and just made it look a little bit more natural. I think the effect is probably a little too far still, so I'm just going to take our op opacity slider and just bring it down to about 45%. I'm going to select OK, and then previewing the file before and after. I'm just going to zoom in on the skin, and again, previewing it before and after. You can see that we've definitely brightened up the skins and balanced out the shadows. If we want to increase this effect, we can just go to our opacity slider and then just increase it. I'm going to take it up to 60% now. Again, previewing it before and after, you can see that we've balanced out our shadows, made the skin a lot brighter, but it still looks natural. I'm going to view it again at full frame, before and after. The last step that we need to do is go to our drop down menu and choose flatten image. This is going to merge the channel mixer with our background image. This file is ready to save and export to Veer. I hope this has been helpful and please check back for more tutorials. Take care.